In this video, I want to introduce some of the benefits of pooled cross-sectional estimation. In the last video, we introduced some of the benefits of having time variation in data. And the problem we were interested in solving here was whether or not a particular policing policy actually decreased crime in those cities which actually introduced it. So the idea here is that what we could do is that after that particular policy was instituted, we might take a sample of cities from the population and if we were to estimate the OLS model on that particular sample, we would almost certainly find that beta was greater than zero. In other words, those cities which instituted the policy actually tended to have higher crime rates. But importantly, we shouldn't view this as causal because what we spoke about as, as actually happening here is that those cities which tended to have higher crime rates were the ones that were most likely in, to institute this policy in the first place. So just looking at a snapshot in time didn't actually tell us whether this particular policing policy was actually having any effect. And we spoke about a potential way around this, which was to use the difference in differences estimator, which was to look at the difference um, of the crime rate or the average crime rate for a sample of cities at time period one before the policing policy was instituted. And the difference is here is P here indicates whether the city went on to go in, in the future institute this policy and N indicates that they didn't institute that policy. And we found that there was a difference of 10 indicating that those cities that in the future who went on to go and introduce this particular policing policy actually tended to have a higher prime rate anyway. And then what we did is we looked at this difference of those cities which did institute the policy and those that didn't some time after the policy was actually instituted. And importantly, this is a different sample of cities. So we spoke about the difference in differences estimator here as being equal to five minus 10, which is equal to minus five. So we suggested that the effect of this particular policing policy was to lower crime rates by five cases per 100,000 populace, for example. But the problem with this particular estimate, this minus five here, is that there is no sort of simple way to calculate its standard error. So just estimating essentially what we've done here is we've estimated two OLS models at two different points in time. We actually can't do any inference. So what can we actually do? Well, it turns out that one thing we can do is we can estimate a pooled cross-section model. So the idea here is that we regress crime on some constant beta naught, and then we have a dummy variable, delta two, which takes on a value of one if we're in time period two, and it takes on a value of zero if we're in time period one. And importantly, we're estimating this across all i individuals in both samples and we're just lumping both of these samples together. And then what we do is we include our policing variable. So this is our policing variable, which is equal to one if, if we're in time period one, that city went on to go and institute that policy, and it's equal to zero if they didn't. Whereas at time period two, it's looking backwards. Did that particular city institute that policy or didn't they? And then finally, what we do is we include a final term, which is beta three times the cross product of these two terms. So we have our dummy variable, delta two, and we multiply it by our policing variable. And you can actually show that the least squares estimate of beta three is actually exactly equivalent to our difference in differences estimator. D, which I've indicated here. But one of the benefits of estimating this below model here via OLS, and because we've just got one model for covering both samples, is that we will get an estimate of the standard error of beta three hat. And because we have an estimate of the standard error of beta three hat, we can actually do inference. So we can say whether this minus five here was actually statistically significant or not. 